Hello, in this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at machining a 3D relief within ArtCam Insignia which is what I'm using here or ArtCam Express. I will explain any differences between the ArtCam Insignia and the ArtCam Express versions. If I just switch to the 3D view I can either click here on that tab there or I can just press F3 on the keyboard here you can see what we're going to be machining which is this crest that I have here if you take a look over on the far right hand side here you can see we have toolpaths and next to that is a plus sign so if I just select the plus sign it will expand what's in that particular tree and it gives me this machine relief so we already have a toolpath generated for this so I just want to show you the simulation of this toolpath first of all so to simulate this what I need to do is right click on the machine relief and then just select simulate toolpath this will then throw up a block definition box so it adjusts the detail or the resolution of the simulation if you're using Artcam Express you won't have this option this will automatically be fixed so this is just within Artcam Insignia so I'm going to go ahead and simulate the toolpath and this will give me a simulation of what's going to be machined to be sent to the CNC machine Now if I want to rotate this around I can do that by selecting the middle mouse wheel just holding it down and then I can rotate around. If I want to zoom in or zoom out just use the scroller on the mouse so I can zoom in and out. We also have all of the options up here under the zoom tool so you can use those there so what we're going to be doing now is I'm going to show you how to actually create that toolpath that we've just simulated so what I'm going to do is right click on the machine relief and I'm going to go ahead and delete that it's just asking me whether I'm sure that I want to delete that toolpath so I'm going to click yes and to delete the simulation what we need to do is right click on the simulation and then select delete there so that just gives us a relief within the 3D view. Now if I wanted to show the vectors for this relief, I need to select this button here to toggle vector visibility. So that turns on the vectors within the 3D view. So what I'm going to do is to select this rectangle with the left mouse button. You'll notice that it turns a magenta colour when it's selected. I'm going to go back over to the project panel which is here on the top right of the screen and I'm going to select toolpaths which opens another panel down the bottom right which are all the toolpaths that are available to me. And I'm going to create a machine relief toolpath. So if I select that it will open up a new dialog box with the parameters for the toolpath. Now the area to machine at the moment that's the whole of the relief so it's going to be machining all of the yellow that you can see or the whole of the sheet there. What I want to do is just do that within the selected vectors so it's just going to go within that particular rectangle. And I need to make sure that it's set to inside vector because obviously I want it to machine inside the vector. For the finishing options, if I just click here, that will open up the tool database. And here you can see all of the tools that are installed within ArtCam. Now what I'm going to do is to choose a 3mm ball nose cutter and select that going to make sure that the clearance strategy is raster so basically it's going to go across in X then step over in Y then come back across in X I'm going to select a roughing tool so I'm going to use the largest cutter that I have which is this 12mm end mill 
and select that. Again, make sure that the tool clearance strategy is set to raster. Tolerance, let's say about 0.04 and the allowance, that's the default value of 0.5 so it's going to leave 0.5 millimeter uh, material on the part for finishing. Now under the Z slices, if I just click here, that will open up the Z slices. And I want to make sure that that's on automatic, so it's automatically going to work out the number of slices for the roughing. So it's going to split it up into two slices. This is specified by the step down that I have on the parameters for the tool. So here you can see, because the step down is 12, the last slice is minus 17.9, so it's going to create two slices. Just close that and I'm going to take a look at the save Z. Just going to do this save Z as 10 and the home Z as 10. And finally, I'm going to set up the material thickness. So if I click setup, I open up a new dialog box which allows me to set up the material thickness. Now I'm going to change the model position down to the bottom. Make sure that the thickness is 25 and I'm going to OK that. So now you can see that's set up my material block here. Now what I can do is click calculate now and this will calculate the tool paths for me. Just move that over to here. So there you can see that that's generating the roughing tool path and now it's calculating the finishing tool path which you can see there in red. Now if you want to turn one of these toolpaths off or turn all of the toolpaths off, you can do that by selecting the light bulbs. So if I select that light bulb it will turn every toolpath that I've created off. If I wanted to turn off individual toolpaths, if I open up that particular tree, let's say for instance I just wanted to turn off the finishing toolpath, I'll just select that particular light bulb there and then that will just show the roughing toolpath. So I can turn all of those off by selecting the light bulbs. So I'm going to close the machine relief now. It's already calculated and what I'm going to do is to simulate this. So again right click on the machine relief and simulate toolpath. Again this would not show in Arkham Express. So just simulate the toolpath. So there you can see the finished part with the machine relief. Now I'm just going to show you how to save the toolpaths for you to send to your machine. So from the project tree, make sure that toolpaths is selected and what we're going to do is to select here for save toolpaths. What this will do, it will move all of the toolpaths to save onto the right hand side. If I only wanted to do let's say for instance one of these I'll just make sure that that's selected and then select save. Being as though I have two of these toolpaths what I'm going to do is to change the name of this to crest and I'm going to browse. I'm going to save this on my desktop so here you can see it's saying save in my desktop here. This will be a favourite then that you can keep within this drop down menu so you can just select that whenever you wish rather than going to the browse. Now if I click here to save toolpaths to separate files what this will do it will give me a file for each of these toolpaths that I have on the right hand side. So what I can do now is to select my post from the list of post processors here. Artcam has over 200 posts within here. So here you can see lots of different posts within here. So what I'm going to do is just use the generic G code for this, which is here. 
and I'm going to select save. Now what this has done, it has saved two different toolpaths onto my desktop in G-code. So if I just cancel that and I'm going to minimize this and go to my desktop, here you can see I have two files with the G-code ready to be sent to my machine.